You are about to witness a friendly debate in our computer science principles course. Our side is of the opinion that as technology continues to make advances in areas such as communication, education, and medicine, the pros greatly outweigh the cons. We're not saying that the cons don't exist, we're just saying that as technology continues to advance, we learn new ways to counteract negative effects on such things as environment. We will be focusing on the business and productivity aspect, communications, environment, health, as well as education. To begin with, the business aspect will cover the fact that a lot of jobs have been taken up by machines. Uh, technology is also distracting and can lead to a lack of socializing. When we cover environment, it will be brought up that many of technology's benefits are created by polluting the environment and releasing toxic gases into the air. And then lastly, education. With all the new technology, it's really led to parents either over-monitoring their children or not being involved at all. As that is the con side, and I wanted to bring up um, the point of communication. I think communication using technology has gotten a little bit out of hand. We have a lot more access to information that we normally wouldn't find out about people, such as birthdays, workplaces, schools, uh, who their friends are, what they do. Well, the thing with communication and being able to find out things about other people online is that you yourself have to post your own information, like where you're born and your birthday. Like you're the one who has to put that out there. And then if other people do, they need your permission to put your information out there. So there are privacy concerns with communication, especially online and through Facebook, but it's ultimately it's your permission that decides whether or not your information is out there. The environment that we live in is greatly impacted by our technology. And this is because there is a positive correlation between the ongoing technological evolution and the rise in the efficiency of the fuels that we use. Our society, our society primarily depends on fossil fuel, and fossil fuel is classified as being unrenewable. There is a limit to how much fossil fuel we can use before we run out. And fossil fuel also pollutes the environment. And this inevitable fact demands that we come up with a way to increase the efficiency of fossil fuel. Uh, even though the pro-technology side argues that uh, technology uh, provides a more green world for us by uh, using less paper and using electric energy and stuff, um, we're still technology still contributes to the harmful environmental effects. Um, the silicon industry uses materials uh, that are very toxic to our earth, such as arsenic, cadmium, lead methyl chloroform, benzene, acetone, uh, trichloroethylene, and a lot more toxic acids. So I guess an example of security breaching could be seen through what happened with Sony and the fact that they were Sony's games were being were now easily transferred from a PlayStation 3 Blu-ray system to any system, which Sony loses their monopoly with having you have to buy PS3 to play the certain a PlayStation 3 to play certain games and they tried to prosecute the offender, and during the prosecution, they were hacked. Their entire PlayStation network was brought down. Millions of users' uh, credit card information was compromised, and Sony tried to rebuild to fight this anonymous group called Anonymous, and they rebuilt the network from scratch in three weeks, only to have it rehacked, redestroyed, and the credit card information once again compromised. We have an increase in security, not only in things like airports, but with just documents in general. Instead of having a folder with papers in it that could just be broken into with, the, with a crowbar or something and then stolen, people actually have to go into a computer and crack a password. That's, it's much more difficult to crack than you know, just a case where papers is filed. It'll also increase airport security in order to stop threats such as criminals, terrorism, and other such related things. and also. Security cameras are a big thing now. A lot of things you see on security cameras, not only crimes, but just amazing events that occur, such as... Doctors can take little cameras and uh, do surgery use, uh, using very small devices, and the recovery time is much smaller than it would be normally, and sports injuries are reduced from months to 
days and weeks. Surgery is much more non-invasive. The recovery time is much faster, and the surgeries can be more complicated due to the advancements in technologies that we have. So now there are imaging techniques such as MRIs or PET scans, and this allows doctors to get a comprehensive view without harming the patient. And by getting a comprehensive view of the patient, they can make accurate diagnoses faster and earlier in the process. And an earlier diagnosis leads to less costs in healthcare because preventative medicine will always be cheaper than curing something. There's also imaging technology using bioluminescence, which is really cool. It makes your body almost glow in the dark, and the computer can detect that. Um, and that's helped with a lot of um, a, um, diagnosis of internal cancers as well as research. Um, technology has also increased doctors' abilities to keep track of patient files. These electronic files um, are paper efficient, um, it's all online or in a computer database, and it makes it a lot easier to keep a patient's file accurate, up to date, um, and it's much easier to make sure that the doctor knows the whole patient's history, which is very important in diagnosis. So I will be talking about the pro side that technology, specifically computers, have had on um, business. The main points that I really found was that it increased productivity, it increased communication, created multiple jobs. Productivity, by, by productivity I mean things have been done faster, things have been created faster, uh, services have been achieved faster, things like automated systems that keep track of bigger businesses. By having a computer and encrypted, to an extent you can make the information that you have much more secure and kept away from the general public as well as other employees. Some may argue that business is benefited by the rise in, of the internet, rise of technology, but I would like to respectfully disagree. I believe that the, that the anonymity of the businesses on the internet allow for a great rise in a moral evil, which I believe is pornography. Um, if you look at the, top, at the list of top, 10 mo or top 100 most visited sites, about 11 of them are strictly pornography based. That is roughly one tenth tenth of the internet content out of the most visited sites. Um, if you look at these if you look at these numbers and the numbers of um, domestic gross, it pornography is second only to websites such as Amazon and eBay in total money. Um, the first issue associated with education that and technology is um, over monitoring. So you have websites like Turnitin.com and Thangle and things like that that allow teachers and parents to be updating at all times of the day and spending a lot of time keeping their eye on your educational progress and I think that that is not the way that education should be and that there should be a personal, like a more personal relationship between the parents and the students and the students and their education and it shouldn't be, um, no one should be watching you every step you take. If you're presenting something, sometimes the students are reliant on a PowerPoint and PowerPoints don't really convey information in a good way because it's all very linear and it, I think it deters from multi-dimensional thinking and thinking in you know out-of-the-box methods. Um, there's also low productivity associated with um, technology and education. Um, students are distracted by things like Facebook and Twitter and then on top of that uh, there's so much information out there that it's hard for students to pick out the information that is really necessary and to analyze it properly because there's so much to do and it's just not efficient. Um, there's also the issue with cheating. Uh, there's so much online and a lot of things turned into.com can't pick up and students are often tempted to use uh, information that's not really their own, thoughts that are not their own and they're heavily influenced by what other people on the internet think and it's so easy for them that I think they're more prone to do it than they would be in a different setting with a different medium. Well, I guess that's a point, a good point, but you have to realize there's also benefits to having this Zangle or also like um, other technology to help education because it allows parents to know what's going on. A lot of times parents don't know what's going on and they, they, sometimes kids, they can't just handle everything by themselves. They need support from their family. They need Agree with what they said or disagree with what they said. The passion with which they said it was important to me and hopefully important to them. I enjoy this debate and I look forward to continuing discussion.